Real quick before we get into the recap part of the video, you guys are watching this on Monday, April 11th. Comes out at 9 a.m. in the morning, but the cutoff for the giveaway is going to be 12 p.m. Eastern time. So again, that's Monday, April 11th, 12 p.m. Eastern time. So that way I can get everyone's names from Instagram and from YouTube, put them in the gener uh, random selection generator, whatever it is on the computer, and I will film that for you guys, and that will be the video on Tuesday, April 12th, coming out at 9 a.m. Eastern time. So again, if you haven't entered an Instagram giveaway or the YouTube giveaway, that is going to end today when you guys are watching this video, April 11th at 12 p.m. Eastern time, and the winners will be announced Tuesday the 12th at 9 a.m. So little heads up there for you guys if you have not already. For those who have entered, thank you so much and wish the best of luck to all of you. So now let's get into the recap part of the video. This is week five. Can't believe it's already been that long, but with the carb cycling, we have seen progress and it's been consistent progress. It's progress that has made me happy and feel good at the end of the day. Very, very pleased with that. So you guys know that this week I tried carb cycling. I went from high carb day to a low carb day and altern that, alternated that for six days. So I was able to get three high carb days and three low carb days. The Sunday, April 3rd, when I did not start carb cycling was just my typical day. So carbs were at 245 and fats were at 45, but I still did keep track of that in my averages. So I think this is the first week where my averages were all seven days. So let's see what we got out of all seven days with six days of carb cycling, one day of just my normal intake. Average food was 1,986 calories, protein at 176.7 grams, carbs at 213.7 grams, and fat was at 50.6. So already you can see my averages from week four to week five. I was in the deficit and it worked. So calories dropped just slightly. Protein stayed the same, which is what I want. And carbs was the biggest difference. So week four averages for carbs was 248.8 grams. Week five carbs were average was at 213.7. And then in fats, you got about a five gram difference. So I put myself in a deficit for week five compared to my previous weeks, and it worked in the sense that my weight consistently dropped. So let's go over that. April 3rd, 156.4 was my weigh in for that morning. That was after a refeed day, so I expected it to be up no problem. Ate normal that Sunday. The next day, April 4th, weighted at 158. And if you guys remember in that video, I told you it was bad night of sleep. Felt extremely, extremely, extremely bloated. That morning, I did not want to eat. So it was pretty high and I knew it would be, which is frustrating because when I feel bloated because my intolerance, it's hard to get it back down to where I was the previous week. So it's been a constant battle up, up and down. But in that news, in the news of like my tolerance and how that's going, there is a two weeks before graduation that I will be going home. And during that time, I'm going, I have appointment with the doctor just to go over that again, tell him, you know, what's happened since I was diagnosed with the intolerance. You know, it's not a big idea. It's not a, like a health risk or anything like that. But since, you know, I do pay attention to my body and I notice the slightest differences, I want his advice to see where I should go with this, what I should avoid, what's okay. That's where I am on that. And I'll keep you guys updated, but that's not until the beginning of May. Anyway, that Monday when I had my high weigh-in was also my high carb day. So, you know, I wasn't that hungry, but I knew I needed to get the food in. So then Tuesday morning at 157.4, so there was a decrease in weight, happy with that. Went into a low carb day on Tuesday, weighed in the next morning a pound lighter. So I had my high carb day. Next day, 0.2 pounds lighter on the 7th. The day following that was April 8th, that Friday. That was a high carb day, came in weighing. 0.2 pounds lighter again. And then on Saturday, I weighed in at 155.6. 
after a high carb day. So that day was a low carb day. Just literally alternated every single day, high carb, low carb. And I still saw a decrease in weight every single day, which is such a great feeling. Water stayed consistent. I felt good at the end of the day because calories, even on the high carb day to a low carb day, we're still the same. So very, very pleased with that. And then on Sunday, today when we're recording this, I weighed in 154.8, which is great progress. So I'm consistently seeing the drop in weight. You know, it's nothing crazy. It's not jumping up and down. I have not felt bloated this entire week, which for me personally is a great feeling when I struggled with that for, you know, two, three months before I even started all of this. So now what I'm gonna do moving forward is keeping my calorie intake the same so i'll alternate high carb low carb days macros for those days will stay the same as in week five now what i'm going to do on sundays it'll either be a low carb day high carb day a high carb refeed day or i'll throw in one cheat meal or to be a cheat day it will depend on my progress for the week that's my one day where i can kind of play with and fix things so if maybe i'm feeling bloated or my weigh-ins have been high I'll have my low carb day. Maybe they've been pretty low. I want a little extra carbs. I'll have a high carb refeed day. Or maybe, you know, I just have some kind of craving and I pick one meal to just kind of not track. That's what I'm gonna do for Sundays today. It's Sunday, so I did ha raise my calories just slightly. I believe it's about 200 calories. Raising my carbs up today to 270 and fats at 50 grams. So that puts me at 2200 calories. So a slight increase, just because I have seen the consistent weight drop and you know, I don't want to drop dramatically just keep it consistent give my body the nutrients that it needs to get through the next few days but overall for you know health wise physique wise feeling great like i said not bloated i'm seeing tightness come in you know muscle starting to pop out especially in the abs which is always nice so very pleased with that you guys have seen my strength in the gym stay you know chest has improved so much i've learned that i need to stick to high volume and not focus on lifting heavy weight so much so kind of a mental check for me so that's good in other news I'm gonna put a deadline to this beach prep time to kick it into year and set a deadline set a goal that I want to reach because now that I've figured out carbs likely works for me my deadline is going to be April 22nd which is my birthday my 22nd birthday so that gives me about two weeks to hit my goal my goal for April 22nd is to weigh in at 150 pounds so that gives me about a little less than five pounds to lose in two weeks, which I know I'm capable of doing. I'll keep cardio consistent, which will be four sessions, burning 300 calories every single week. That has not changed, but it gives you guys something to look forward to, to see if I can do it. It also gives me something to aim for, a goal. I haven't seen 150 pounds in a long time. That's my birthday, so that that's the goal. That's what we're aiming for. So we're about two weeks out. Next thing I wanna talk about is daily uploads. It has been a lot to record every single day, edit every single night for a few hours and get a video up every day. Still balance school, work, working, you know, just the college life in general and my side products that I have going on. And I love it, but it has been a lot and I need to give 100% to everything that I am doing. So with that being said, when I hit the two weeks, when I hit April 22nd, I'm not gonna continue doing daily uploads. It'll probably be every other day. Just, I am going to be traveling a lot, um, whether it's going into New York City, I have that coming up, and also going home. And you guys see that when I am home, it literally takes hours, hours to get the video uploaded. And if I wanted to do something, a video every day, I'd probably have to go find somewhere that has Wi-Fi that's open late at night and that's just not possible or stay up and not sleep so it'll probably be every other day but again you'll still get two weeks full of daily uploads and you know i'm not leaving it's just i have to get my priorities right and you know i want to give you guys 100 percent. i want to give school 100 percent, work 100 percent, and my side projects 100 percent. so with that just it's going to help me and hopefully that you guys understand where i'm coming from so once I do hit April 22nd, it'll just probably be every other day, so not that big of a deal, not a huge change, you guys will still see me, and just because I hit April 22nd, I'm going to still continue with this prep. I just want to hit that goal for that date, but I will con continue cutting, and I'll show you guys that in all the videos. It just won't, it won't change, the only thing is the amount of videos, so that's it. But if you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave that in the comment box below. And if it's a more personal or detailed question, go ahead and shoot me an email. Don't forget about my online coaching. My website's always down below. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget, giveaway ends today at 12 
p.m. Eastern Time. The next video will be the winners. So good luck to you all. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. It really does mean a lot. Hopefully it wasn't too long and hopefully you got something out of it. But as always, have a great day.